Hey guys, I'm back and it's Friday, so that means it's time for another Friday Reads hashtag. Friday Reads was originally started over at Twitter where just thousands of people would comment and say what they're reading over the weekend, and then it was brought over to YouTube by Bunny Cates. So, I'm sorry that I was not here for Friday Reads last week because I was just so busy with Thanksgiving, and I had to go pick up my boyfriend on Friday, and also because I was happened to be reading the same exact books I was reading the Friday Reads before that. So... Yeah, I did not do a Friday Reads last week, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm back now, so let's get started. Um, over the weekend, I plan on reading The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, and I'm like 90 pages in, maybe, and it's pretty good so far. I really like it. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> so, it's pretty good so far. I really like it. Um, I'm mainly reading it because the movie's coming out in December, December 14th, I believe, and I am super excited to see Gandalf again, um, oh, I'm so pumped. So, I'll just read the back to you. Bilbo Baggins was a hobbit who wanted to be left alone in quiet comfort, but the wizard Gandalf came along with a band of homeless dwarves. Soon, Bilbo was drawn into their quest, facing evil orcs, savage wolves, giant spiders, and worse, unknown dangers. Finally, it was Bilbo, alone and unaided, who had to confront the great dragon Smog, the terror of an entire countryside. So, yeah, that's The Hobbit, and I'm pretty sure I'll read it, finish it over the weekend because I have so much more time to read now over the weekend and stuff, so, and nothing else is going on, I don't believe, so yeah, I'll probably finish this over the weekend, and if I do, I will start in on um, The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. Um... I heard amazing things about this book, and I love her other series, um, the Air series, that's the Warrior Air, the Wizard Air, and the Dragon Air, and I heard amazing things about this book. The Story Siren loves this series, um, so I'm super excited to read this one. I'll read the back of this one as well. Sorry if I mispronounce names on this, because these names might get a little difficult. So, here we go. Times are hard in the mountain city of Felsmarch. Reformed thief Han Alistair will do almost anything to eke out a living for himself, his mother, and his sister Mari. Ironically, the only thing of value he, ha he has is something he can't sell. For as long as Han can remember, he's worn thick silver cuffs engraved with runes. They're clearly magic. As he grows, they grow, and he's never been able to get them off. Hans's life gets even harder after he takes a powerful amulet from Micah, Micah Bayer, the son of the High Wizard. The amulet once belonged to the Demon King, the wizard who nearly destroyed the world a millennium ago. With a magical piece so powerful at stake, the Bayards will stop at nothing to reclaim it from Ham. Meanwhile, Riza Anna Mar Mariana, okay, uh, princess heir of the Fells, has her own battles to fight. Although Ryza will become eligible for marriage after her 16th name day, she isn't looking forward to trading in her common sense for a prince with a big castle and a tiny brain. Ryza aspires to be like Hana, Hana Leah, the legendary warrior queen who killed the demon king and saved the world. But it seems that her mother has other plans for her, plans that include a suitor who goes against everything the queendom, the qu queendom stands for. The seven realms will tremble when the lives of Han and Ryza collide in the stunning new page turner from best selling author Cinda Williams Chima. So yeah, and I am sorry my voice is like cracking and um uh, just getting sick right now, so I apologize for that. But yeah, those are the two books I plan on reading over the weekend. I'm super excited to read both of them. So what are you guys reading? Comment, like, subscribe, do all that lovely YouTube stuff. YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading!